Meanwhile, Tesla's shares are soaring in the pre-market after it shocked Wall Street with earnings showing it returned to profitability. Here to break down the quarter is Garrett Nelson from CFRA. Uh, Garrett, always good to see you here. Uh, you are out this morning raising your rating on the company from strong sell to a hold. Do you, so uh, the way I read that, you think these earnings and this profitability, I guess, is sustainable? Well, not necessarily sustainable. We think there are questions regarding the sustainability of, of what they did. Um, you know, Tesla very much pulled a rabbit out of the hat with this quarter. You know, if you look, their earnings were still down 36% year over year. And as an analyst, it's very difficult to estimate, you know, the quarter to quarter breakdown of how, how earnings are going to fall out. Um, the rating change mainly reflects a belief that we think the pros and cons of this story, and it is a story stock, that they're more imbalanced than they have been in several months. So we think a, uh, a hold rating is now appropriate. Yeah, I mean, certainly, Garrett, while this was a very good report, a lot of analysts seem to be taking your view, this sort of wait-and-see approach. They fear that the momentum may not carry over into the first half of 2020. Would you go as far as to say, though, that this quarter was a breakout quarter for Tesla or not so much? Well, it was a very good quarter, much better than expected. I mean, their earnings were more than $2 ahead of the consensus estimate. So... The thing is, we've seen this before from Tesla. If you look at the third and fourth quarter of last year, they posted very healthy profits in both of those quarters, and then they swung to pretty significant losses in the first two quarters of this year. So, you know, there are questions regarding the sustainability of their earnings. And also, right now, as the federal electric vehicle tax credit goes away completely for Tesla at the end of this year, and the fact that Increased competition is right around the corner. We expect there to be 30 new electric vehicles on the road by the end of 2020, Most, almost all of which will be eligible for the full $7,500 federal tax credit, while Tesla's tax credit will be zero. Garrett, do you think uh, Elon Musk is finally becoming a real CEO? Well, he's, he's doing a much better job. And where they really beat for the quarter was on the cost side. So. They're, 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 they had significant gross margin expansion sequentially, and they really managed to, to lower their costs significantly. The vehicle average price realization is continuing to drop, but it was more than offset by uh, lower unit costs. So, um, you know, and, and there's a lot of questions regarding what, you know, what happened on the cost side. Unfortunately, we won't really get the answer to a lot of those questions until they file the 10Q which will probably be another week or two. So there still is a there still are some questions regarding you know how they beat by by this magnitude for the third quarter. Garrett, they said their a gigafactory in Shanghai is actually ahead of schedule. Um, what does China really mean to Tesla right now? It's about 11% of revenue, but what what could that potential market be for them? Well, it's a big potential market. The problem is automakers have shown time and time again they really struggled to generate any profit over there. Uh, the reason is that the per capita incomes are, are so much lower than they are in North America. They just can't afford these types of luxury vehicles. And you're talking about, you know, the, the Tesla price point of wh where they're selling their Model 3s and, and the other vehicles. So, you know, we're, we're not very optimistic from, from a margin perspective on that factory. They've done a great job bringing it online. I think it's come on... Um, you know, construction uh, was faster than anyone expected. So we give them credit on that front. But there are questions regarding, you know, what, what, how much money are they going to make on each vehicle that they sell over there ultimately? Hey, investors, Zach Guzman here. Are you interested in learning more about the markets and getting the latest financial news? Well, then click right here to subscribe to our Yahoo Finance YouTube channel. Get the latest up-to-the-minute market analysis, big interviews in the world of finance, and information on how to manage your money every day wherever you are.